Hey guys, you're watching DIY Dozier. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. And if you're not, thanks for following along. Stay tuned, we're going to be building a paint booth. I've decided recently that I'm going to step off into the adventure of attempting to paint motorcycles, uh, vehicles, and, um, and set up a paint booth in my garage. Uh, along with this process, I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and uh, document it. Um, update my my YouTube channel and start to share all my content of the many things that I do uh, so anyway I've got some uh, cleaning up to do I need to add a, uh, a compressor back here in the corner in the garage I need to move the toolbox around and stuff um, I'm gonna organize a few things but as you can see I've I've got a quite a big uh, space in here to work with um, you know, stereotypical garage. I'm going to head on over to uh, Tractor Supply, and I think I'm going to go ahead and make my first big purchase as far as uh, in the paint and body world. I'm going to buy a compressor. Uh, they're running a sale on Ingersoll, and I figured I might as well jump before it's, you know, the price rises back up and it's too late, so. All right, here we are. I'm in the beater truck. We're headed down to uh, Tractor Supply to go see about purchasing this air compressor. Can't wait to get down there and see what else they have as far as accessories for air management. I need to get valves and uh, dryer and filtration and all kind of stuff that goes along with trying to keep stuff out of your air when you're painting something. Anyway, we're on the way. Be there soon. All right, we have arrived. Let's get in here and see what they got for us. So here we are. I think this ought to get it. This thing is huge. It's like six and a half feet tall. It should provide everything I need. Oh, there we go. 15.9 CFM at 40 PSI. It's about where I need to be at as far as using a spray gun. I think we can make this thing work, especially for a thousand dollars. I don't think you can really beat it. Well. Let's get it loaded up. All right, so I'm all loaded up with the compressor. It's, a, uh, it's an 80 gallon Ingersoll Rand compressor. Uh, Y'all, this thing was no joke loading it up. You can see it there in the back. There's a, there's a pallet still attached to the bottom of it. And uh, I got the back uh, of the camper shell open because the pallet wouldn't fit all the way in the bed of the truck. Anyway. Got the, the motor taken off of it. I didn't want to lay it down with the motor on it. I wanted to keep the motor upright. So it's been removed and it's just sitting in the bed of the truck beside the uh, tank. So headed to the house to get it unloaded. Let's do this. All right, guys. So I made it back to the house. I got some stuff pulled out. Um, trying to make a little bit of room. Clean up a little bit. I always like to clean everything when I get ready to do something else big, a new project or something. So I'm moving some stuff out of the corner there and putting it in the storm shelter in here. Still got room to go in there and stand if we have a little tornado or something like that. Anyway, about to get busy cleaning up a little bit.
we are back in the garage with a new look. Uh, lost the hair, lost the beard, stash, all gone. Uh, continuing on with the compressor um, project uh, so I can paint. Uh, I have here in front of you uh, some copper piping here, some 2x4s, a couple bags from Lowe's full of fittings and tools to cut with and flux and solder and all that. I have a transmission cooler here, uh, 12 volt power supply, uh, electric fans, and a uh, retractable reel for my uh, air hose and we're gonna be getting started I'm gonna put a after cooler a transmission cooler over here on this uh, on the back side of that grate there with the electric fans and I'm gonna plug it into the wall instead of actually tying into the electrical on the uh, compressor try to cool some of that air and get rid of some of my condensation before it goes inside the tank um, also going to add a a copper uh, after cooler coil as you would call it I guess um, gonna run vertically up and down the wall uh, and have water traps in the bottom uh, release some of that water um, it's gonna be kind of extensive but hey let's get started right all right here we go
Okay, so I have um, my cooling, my after cooler uh, coil or whatever you want to call it. I've got my sections cut into five foot lengths here, and I have the the ends are all uh, ground down and uh, sanded on the inside and outside, all the edges, so I can get ready to start uh, making my connections, soldering them. I'm going to do a, a layout, make sure I have all my pieces correct, and then I'll start soldering. This is essentially what I've come up with here, uh, the three ball valves at the bottom. The very far right, right here, is going to be the inlet, and this one right here is going to be the outlet. Um, hopefully we can get some condensation out of this. Hopefully the lighting in here isn't too too bad, but i got to add a pipe uh, across the middle right there, top section. There'll be a couple that will have to be, you know, this the bottom one here, right here on the right, that one will have to be shortened a little bit so I can bring that one up to about right here. And then the second one will be just under that. Uh, hopefully that'll be perfect for what I'm doing here. So here we have our cooling coil with our three ball valves on the bottom. Uh, pretty much like I said, how it's going to go. It's all mocked up. Uh, we're going to have the, the inlet from the air compressor. It's going to come in right here. It's going to come in right here. It's going to go all the way around and come back up and zigzag. And when it comes down to the bottom, uh, right here, this is going to go out and go to my uh, filter. So anyway, uh, let's get it. Uh, soldered up and ready to go. Here we are, all soldered and ready to go. Now I got to get this thing mounted on the wall. I'm gonna put it right there. So here we are, all done with this. This is my, uh, I guess you want to call it a coil or an after cooler or whatever for the compressor. There's the compressor, there's River, and we have three ball valves on the bottom of this. So like I said, the air will come in right here on this one. And on the right here. Right there. And it'll go up, over, down the left side, all the way to the bottom. Go over again, back up, back down, another ball valve. Back up, back down. Another ball valve, back up and back down again, where it will then go from there over to my hose, which will be around here, mounted on this corner up here. So we should be able to get some uh, condensation out of those pipes.